Hey everybody and welcome back! My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we're going to still be working on letters but we're going to do something completely different. We are going to talk about swashes and how we can add them in. Now this one is probably a little bit overdone but I just wanted to show you the different kinds that you can do. Any swirls will do in a swash um, and the important thing is to remember to make them thick and thin. It just gives it a more professional look. So let's go back to this one. This is what we're going to work on. Now you can add swashes or we've gone through designs or different little designs on it. You can add it to any lettering. You just have to do a few steps to it. So we're going to start on this happy. And let's see, what's the first thing we need to do when we are... Can you hear the beagle singing? <laughs> when we are working on lettering in any software, we need to break it apart. So here it is, break up text. I did a right click, break up text, break apart in hatch and in brilliance and um, PE design is probably the same. I'll have to double check, but it'll be break up. So we're going to break up text. Now, the when we do this, you can see right over here that it's to the letter, but we need a little more than that. So we're going to start with the H and we're going to do break apart. So now it is just look at a bunch of satin stitches that connects and that's fine. So there's many ways we can do this. Um, you can change it completely, redo this whole part, or we can make it easy. Let's just go into the lettering and we're going to go into node mode and you can see all the angles and what I'm going to do, left click and drag. And I don't think I want that much though. Let's try that again. Left click and drag and then simply hit delete and you have to hit apply on this and now we have an h that needs more of a swirl so if you can do the swashes freehand that's fantastic i personally like to do a little path for myself because we're going to be doing satin stitches but not the straight stitches and i'll explain that in a minute so I'm going to go ahead here and just kind of give myself a guideline. Now I'm going to tweak this a little bit in a minute, but you can get the idea of what I'm working on. Now I did make one mistake there and I want it over here. So easy enough just to do it like this. I just want a running stitch and now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to change this one to uh, smooth and you've got your, we're going to zoom right in here because I want you guys to see a lot of people are scared of using the Bezier curves, but they make a difference. They make it a lot easier to work with. So I'm going to pull out the Bezier curves a little bit. See how nicely rounded that is. Click apply and i don't want this one so i'm gonna go ahead and delete that and i just want it to fit a little bit nicer now remember again this is just an outline it just makes it easier it gives you something to follow while you're working on now i don't know if we can do without this one but less is more for sure on this. So I deleted one and I'm going to make my curve smoother by pulling out the Bezier curve. I like that so far. I'm going to bring this part in a little because I like that. And then we can make this a little rounder. See how nice that gets? Pulling out the curves. Maybe we want this up a little more. And it, you could just 
play around with it. It's easy enough to do. And let's see where it starts from. We could put another wave in here if we wanted, just to make it interesting. So we can move it around like this. I don't want that much of a wave. Doesn't that look cute? So you could leave it like this, uh, but we're gonna make it much better for sure. So now we have a little path. Make sure you like it. Make sure you like what you've done. And again, it's just a draft. It doesn't have to be perfect. We don't do embroidery to be perfect. Just kind of make it your own. I like that much better, I think. The heart shows up a little bit more. Now, if you don't like the ending here, we can kind of go with the flow of this uh, font. And we want it to end there. We're going to add a couple of points and twist it out maybe just to make a swirl is what I'm going for or some kind of ending like that. We need a couple more points and a couple more Bezier curves to play with just so I can get it how I want it. This has to go down. So something like this. You see how I'm doing it? Just point by point. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's basically the part that we deleted and we're taking it all the way over here. So that works for me. We want the end to be at the end. We may have to pull this out a little bit because we are putting satin stitches on it. And uh, so we're going to need it a little bit wider there. So let's turn on this so we can really see it. Now that'll be good enough. I'm going to smooth it out when I put the satin stitches on it. So for now, I am going to change the color so we can see what we're doing. Now you can easily convert this to the style stitches, the steel stitches, satin stitches, but you get something clunky like this. It doesn't end nice. It's all even everywhere. I don't really like it, not to mention the connections, how it looks there. We don't want that. So we are going to use the fancy, fancy stitches, and we're going to build it from left to right. Okay, so we can carry on. We want more curved points. Don't feel like you have to put your points right, just, you know, right there. Um, we Less is more, for sure. Less is more. And we just want to twist it to get it around here. Now I did uh, straight. And I don't want straights. I want it to be curvy. The... the when you have less points, it makes it a whole lot easier to do. So what I like to do is zoom out a little bit. Normally, I suggest you be zoomed right in, but it helps you to not put too many points going on. And it makes it a lot easier, I think. Now, we're going to fix it. The, the point is we need you to put your points properly. So one side to the other. Keep in mind that little stretchy string there. That's going to help you. And I'm just following along one side, then the other. And when you click on a point, that is going to be your angle. And yes, we can go fix everything. Now I'm going to do a straight point here and here, but I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. Now we're going to fix this so it's nice and round, so no worries. And curved point here and here. See how easy that is? And we're going to make it really nice, really quickly, really nice. I love it. So as long as you uh, keep in mind what you're doing, one side to one side, and I'm going to thin it out a little bit because we're going to run out of room. So one side to one side 
and we're going to get our swirl going. If you make a mistake, it's just going to be a little backspace on most software or delete. You don't want to delete the whole thing though. And here we go. And that's looking pretty good. I kind of like it. If you lose track of what you're doing, look for the stringy thing. I would have put it right here and that's not in the right spot. It's not a big deal, but there you go. When you're done, hit enter and we got our start and stop. Now that looks a little bit shaky. <laughs> Doesn't look nearly as smooth as we want, but that's okay. We have the foundation down. So once you can see the Bezier curves, that's when you can make it smooth. See the difference between one or the other? I think that's cool. And if you want to delete points, just hit delete. Now this is going to look much better. Let's do apply and we can see our stitches. Doesn't that look great? Why don't we do the same thing with this side? And it's pretty smooth, so I didn't do too badly on that one. Now this part we're gonna have to finish as well. And this looks a little bit not smooth. So let's hit smooth and we can pull it out to make it smoother. Let's see. I think that might be much better. See, it's thick and thin, that's the key to it. Now, the other thing you have to make sure as you go along that your angle lines are balanced so you don't have anything that is sharp. We're not, we're not doing sharp here. So I'm gonna go down a little bit and we're gonna fix this part. Now, if you decide that you don't want to stick with your pattern, that's fine. It's just there as a guide and we are going to delete it. So just move my angle line so I can get to the point and bring it in a little bit more. And I'm just making it smoother. You can see how the lines move and then we can do apply. I love doing this part because you can really change your design quite a bit. Now you can see the problem here is that these two angle lines are not in the correct angle, angle lines and angles. But see when I changed the two, fixed it right up. There we go. So I'm gonna do a little fast forward for you guys and you can watch what I do because it takes a few minutes to get it really how you want. So let's go ahead and do that and I will talk to you when we're done. Okay, there we have it. I'm done playing. You see, you can see that I didn't really stick to my outline and that's okay. I like it better this way. So I'm going to delete my outline. Nice smooth curves. I made sure all the angle lines were good. And if you look here to the curves, they're not perfect either. So I think it's fine the way it is, but it's a nice stylized H. Now the only thing you have to remember is to move this so it stitches out first 
and we want it to start here and end here so then it will continue stitching and you won't even notice so make sure you set it up that way and any other letters that you do this to just make sure they're in the right order but doesn't that look like it was meant to be i love it i'm so happy with how this turned out and uh, it was a lot of fun to do. So take your time, less is more, and remember you can go back and change the angles with those bezier curves, and the less you have, the easier it is to do. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys will try adding a swirl or a swash don't worry, we'll be doing more. It takes a little bit of practice to do, but it's awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.